All right, guys. It is a gorgeous, but a little bit windy. A little bit windy. Monday morning here in the collapse of global industrial civilization out here in the Point Lonesome Swamp, deep in the oasis of freedom. And it is now a Monday morning, a bright, sunny, windy Monday morning, January 17th, 2022, I believe. And uh, so Monday, you know, guys, I don't, I need to get some sort of regular Monday morning pattern to my Chronicle of the Collapse. So uh, since I don't have anything prepared and I can't open the links of some of the articles you guys are sending me, and uh, we won't comment on some of the links some of you are sending me, I'm just going to do what I do every day anyway, and that is simply check in with the mainstream media for the good, the bad, and the ugly. We'll save the good to wrap up with. Let's just start with the bad and the ugly and the notion. Uh, okay, from Business Insider. Business Insider, this is like the fourth biggest story on the planet in Yahoo News right now. The world's 10 richest men have made so much money during the corona panic that a one-time 99% tax on their gains could pay for every single vasectomy and tubal ligation anybody wants on this planet. All right, we will see if that's going to happen. <clears throat> The 10 richest men in the world have more than doubled their wealth during the corona panic. Oxfam calculated. Um, Oxfam issued its new report on inequality in which it advocates for more taxation for the rich. Uh, yes, quoting Oxfam's executive director's Billionaires have had a terrific pandemic. <clears throat> All right. Uh, so billionaires have had a terrific pandemic as central banks pumped trillions of dollars into financial markets to save the economy, yet much of that money has ended up lining the pockets of billionaires riding a stock market boom. And that was uh, Oxfam's executive director, Gabriella Boucher. Uh, the new report, Inequality Kills, highlighting the vast wealth disparity that emerged during the corona panic Oxfam noted that the wealth of the world's 10 richest men more than doubled to one and a half trillion dollars from 700 billion dollars from March 2020 to November of 2021. That is a rate of $15,000 per second. $15,000 every second the 10 richest men on this planet are putting in their pockets, otherwise known as $1.3 billion every day going back to March of 2020 have gone directly into the pockets of the 10 richest men. Uh... There you go. Uh, and then, of course, uh, you know, being the mainstream media and Oxfam, obviously, obviously Oxfam, which pretty much, you know, is dedicated to feeding all of the millions of people who never should have been born, uh, did not say 
that the money that uh, $1.3 billion every day uh, could provide vasectomy and tubal ligation services. It, it could bankroll uh, birth control services on this planet in one day. Uh, it could pretty much buy up uh, the entire Amazon rainforest uh, from the planet eaters. And of course, they, uh, what they suggest, Oxfam suggesting we should use that money to, you know, as soon as the billionaires agree to a 99% windfall tax, we should use that money to pay for all COVID-19 vaccines. And now, of course, if it doesn't say, are they talking about one dose of the vaccine for a planet of 8 billion people? Are they talking about two doses, which would be 16 billion doses? Are they talking about three doses? which would be 24 billion doses of the vaccine. Of course, who do you think would be profiting off of the sale of 24? Anyway, I think we know the answer. Uh, who would line their pockets? But anyway, uh, some truly... Uh, some truly depressing news in case you have not figured this out on your own already. Dollar Tree customers say the decision to raise most prices to $1.25 left them feeling, quote, sick to their stomachs. Yes. Dollar Tree left many customers feeling angry and disappointed after it raised prices to a dollar twenty-five, you know, now making it the dollar twenty-five tree. So twenty-five percent inflation overnight in the uh, in the dollar tree. According to the outlet, shoppers have been using various social media platforms to vent their feelings. One customer said they were, quote, sick to my stomach over the, over the 25 cent price hike. Another referred to the change as a, quote, calamity. Yes, the discount chain made headlines after announcing that most of its $1 items would soon be sold for $1.25. It was the last of the major dollar store chains in the U.S. to stand by its one dollar commitment. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, but many customers remain unhappy. Some have started calling the chain the dollar twenty-five tree and suggest the store should change its name. Dollar Tree did not immediately respond to a request for comment. <laughs> yes, uh, what is going on over there in China? Let's go over the, uh, the headline. Pretty much says it all from Reuters video. All right, guys. We can all go back to sleep. World War III will not be breaking out in China after all. The China, the government of China promises to be nice. China won't bully its neighbors over the South China Sea, foreign minister says. Okay. China will not use its strength to quote, bully its smaller neighbors, including the Philippines, 
Its foreign minister said on Monday as he highlighted the importance of settling disputes in the South China Sea peacefully. Yes. Quote, stressing, this, this is the Chinese, uh, what was he? I've already forgot. The Chinese government's uh, foreign minister, Wang Yi, quote, stressing only one side's claims and imposing one's will on the other is not a proper way for neighbors to treat each other, and it goes against the Oriental philosophy of how people should get along with each other. <laughs> yes, yes, and I hear that Sancho Panza is uh, getting ready to have a uh, press conference announcing that little dogs will not bully chipmunks. They will not insert their will. But we do have some, uh, well, I was going to save this till last, but since we're talking about China, <clears throat> never let it be said uh, that we do not have good news. I guess the official numbers are finally in. China's birth rate drops to record low in 2021. <clears throat> China's birth rate dropped to a record low in 2021. Data showed this very morning extending a downward trend that Beijing last year that led Beijing last year to begin allowing couples to now have up to three children. China scrapped its decades-old one-child policy in 2016, replacing that with a two-child limit to try to avoid the economic risk from a rapidly aging population. But the high cost of urban living has deterred couples from having more children. The 2021 rate of 7.52 births per 1,000 people was the lowest birth rate since 1949 uh, when the National Statistics Bureau began collecting the data. Last year it was 8.5. The natural growth rate of China's population, which excludes migration, was only 0.034% for 2021, the lowest since 1960, according to the data. Hallelujah, said Ji Wai Zhang, chief economist at Pinpoint Asset Management. Quote, the demographic challenge is well known, but the speed of population aging is clearly faster than expected. This suggests China's total population may have reached its peak in 2021. Yes, it, is all, it also indicates that China's potential growth is likely slowing faster than expected, close quote, hallelujah, yes. In addition to allowing couples to now have three children, well, official government policy, China has also been adopting policies aimed at reducing the financial burden of raising children, yes, including banning for-profit after-school tuition, a massive industry last year. So what does all that boil down to? Uh, if you think that uh, what a 0 0.03.4 uh, increase in population looks like, 
there were 10.62 million births in 2021. So there were still almost 11 million uh, little planet nibblers hitting the planet. Um, one of these demography experts said birth rates, birth numbers are likely to fluctuate in the 10 million range before declining further. But policies will provide greater support for the birth rate, meaning increasing the birth rate. You better believe that China and every other country uh, on the planet are doing everything they can to uh, increase the birth rate. Uh, you know, the one shred of good news on this planet, the one iota of good news on this planet being the declining birth rate. Uh, since we're already at least eight times into overshoot. And as soon as we make one tiny, tiny, little uh, move towards uh, reducing overshoot and getting back to within our ecological carrying capacity as a species and as a planet, what do you think every single government on this planet does in the face of that good news is they pull out all the stops to get people out there going forth and multiplying. But uh, one place uh, that you do not have to worry about a declining birth rate would be Sub-Saharan Africa, in this case Kenya, and uh, I have often said that Sub-Saharan Africa is uh, you know, going to be where Mad Max begins in earnest, and you know, it's it, it, the what what sub-Saharan Africa looks like today will eventually get over to here. So uh, to chronicle Mad Max and sub-Saharan Africa, we have this one from the BBC News: Kenyan vigilantes taking on. Avocado gangs. Kenya's avocado sector has become so lucrative that organized criminal gangs have begun to target avocado growers. This is because the fruit from just one avocado tree can pay for the private education of a secondary school student for an entire year up to six hundred dollars uh, for one tree's worth of avocados with the demand for avocados growing in both the US and Europe Kenya overtook South Africa last year to become Africa's top avocado exporter and vigilante groups are now being formed to protect the crop known as green gold as night falls on a fairly large farm in the central county of Muranga. Six young men dressed in thick raincoats and armed with torches, machetes, and clubs start their shift. They have been hired to guard the farm and its precious avocados. It is dangerous work, and people can get hurt, and even killed. Yes, one of the vigilantes says, quote, It was either us or them, unfortunately, and we had to protect ourselves, one said, referring to a recent incident in which a suspected avocado thief was killed. Yes. The owner of the farm, which is about half an acre, says he has had to take action as he has fallen victim to the thieves. 
quote, you can fence the entire farm, but that will not stop them. Yes, in a single night, all of your fruits are stolen in a matter of hours. Yes. Another of the vigilantes mending the fence agrees. They will still cut it and steal what they want. <laughs> oh, Lord. Dying over avocados. Anyway, guys, uh, all that talk about avocados is making me hungry for some guacamole, baby. And uh, I think they're actually growing avocados not very far from here. I actually have an avocado tree right out here. Not sure it's ever going to get any fruit bearing. Anyway, get out there and enjoy your guacamole with avocado thief blood in it while you still can. My guys.